Hey guys, it's Ashley. I'm here to show you our nursery. This is baby Luke's nursery and he actually arrived on Monday. This is Friday and we are home from the hospital and I actually wanted to do a quick filming of this. Um, we had um, a good stay in the hospital, ready to get home and before things kind of got crazy <laughs> even more, I wanted to go ahead and film. So this is baby Luke's Neverland Peter Pan Nursery and um, it's come together really, really well, kind of at the last minute, I would say. Um, but it's really sweet and it's just what I had in my head. So anyway, just to start out, the color was existing uh, when we bought the house. It's just a really pretty, uh, rich blue and the carpet was here and all of that. We installed the fan and then the curtain rod was also existing. So that matched perfectly anyway. So we just kept that and I'll just kind of start over on this side. Um, this dresser came from Ikea and just as a disclaimer, I'll link all that I can remember um, below the video, but this came from Ikea and I actually chalk painted this whole dresser in Annie Sloan chalk paint. And the color I used was Amsterdam green and it took four coats plus clear wax. And so it definitely wasn't the shortest project, but I think it actually was shorter than it could have been because with wax paint, you don't have to prep your piece really at all. So that was nice. Um, I guess because it was kind of that Ikea wood, you know, or like, you know, woods, uh, I don't, probably not the right word, but um, it just took more coats of paint. I think if it had been, you know, a, a more of a real wood dresser, I could have done it in maybe two coats, but it, um, it was a shape. The dresser was the shape I wanted. It was only like, you know, $250. And we put it together and then I painted it. And then I got these pulls from Hobby Lobby. And so they kind of reminded me of that kind of retro Peter Pan feel, um, kind of vintage retro star kind of look. And then on top, I just have his changing pad. And these lamps came from Land of Nod. And that was kind of my splurge. I really, I, there was a sale and so I got them um, for a better price, but I just kind of liked the, that was kind of my nod to the pirate ship and all of that with the ropes. And then these frames came from Ikea and the prints came from an Etsy shop and they just have the different locations that were in Peter Pan, Captain Hook ship, Mermaid Lagoon, Indian camp, and then Skull Rock, London, of course and hangman tree. And so um, my dad hung those for me. Yeah, this was a family affair. This whole thing um, was a family affair. <laughs> so that's the uh, this area over here. And then my sweet mother-in-law had this chair recovered for me. We found all of the fabrics that were used. We found online or in uh, Mississippi where she lives and where my husband is from. And so this stripe brought out, I don't know if you can see very well, but it brought out all the colors that I really liked. Kind of those pastels without being girly. I don't know if that makes sense. But I found this fabric in Mississippi. And then this chair was just at my in-law's home. And so we recovered that. My mother-in-law does all my sewing for me. She's incredible. She does all of that um, for me, and she's just an expert at what she does. And so she made this little fabric came from Spoonflower, and I loved it because it matched the dresser, and it kind of had a little print on it as well, so you can see they match. And she made this little accent pillow, and then it's the same as the curtain fabric. So you can see, I, I love the look of short curtains. I think that's just like super cute and childlike. I don't know, I think it's just really cute. So we just did pinch pleat drapes and they have blackout lining so I can pull those. And then this little um, tree stump table actually arrived just yesterday. 
and I was kind of waiting on that as a little side table. And it was harder than I thought to find something that kind of fits scale wise because I think with side tables, you often see ones that are really high. And here I just kind of wanted a little kind of night light there. And so I thought it was cute, kind of never landy to have the tree stump. And this little bear is so precious. This was Evie, my oldest daughter. She picked this out for baby Luke um, for Christmas. And so it kind of reminded me of Michael in Peter Pan. You know, he carried around that little teddy bear in the movie, but she picked this out for Luke. And so I just think that's a little treasure. So we put that there. And then this little campfire came from Land of Nod. That was another little splurge. Um, but I thought it was so cute there. If, you, if you're not familiar, it's soft. So it's like, it's cloth. I don't know if you can see if it's focusing, but it's cloth and you can kind of build your fire, which I thought was cute. Kind of reminded me of the Indian camp and this little poof that we can use either as a footrest or just to sit on and play on. And this TP came from Amazon and it came with these little ba with this little banner that actually ended up matching the colors really, really well in the nursery. And so that was fun. I'll kind of pan out so you can get a scope of where we are here. But uh, there's the this kind of corner and then working our way over here. So this little campfire, which is fun, little TP, and then on the shelves, just kind of a different collection of things. This is a Jim Shore little figure. Just think of the wonderful thought. Oh, I forgot to show you the lamp over there. This came from an Etsy shop years ago. It was just in my house and it worked perfectly. Um, and it has the lyrics to the opening song in the Peter Pan movie. Yeah, so I love that. It has a shadow of them flying. So this is another little, this is a Jim Shore figure. This is a felt Harry Potter wand, um, which I got, which is just super fun. And I found these on, these are actually antique. They weren't like hugely expensive, but I just found them on, I think Etsy. And I loved the look of kind of the, the nod to the pirate ship. And some books, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, King Arthur and His Knights and Robin Hood. And then this little hat was made by my mother-in-law. Again, that this was a costume for Liam, my other son, when he was younger. And so this was perfect for this nursery. So we put the little hat there. And then actually the rest of the costume is over there. So that's really cute. We just hung it there. So up on the top shelf, we made some pixie dust. And that's just from Hobby Lobby, the container. And then we mixed some different colors of glitter and this was a printable that I found on Etsy, this Neverland kind of vintage style map and his mouse ears, of course. And then this little lantern, I think I found on overstock.com or Wayfair, either one of those. And then I added the little Tinkerbell figurine by Jim Shore inside. And if you're familiar with the animated movie, she's in the little lantern <laughs> for a while. So that's cute. That um, is the whole kind of shelf scene. Again, the little teepee. And then over here is his crib. We just kept it real simple. We don't have any bumpers or anything like that. I'm gonna be using this a lot, I think, the Daka Tot. And then if you can see, we got some Neverland fabric. I think Riley Blake is the name of the designer and it's a Neverland themed fabric. And this was actually the first fabric that I found uh, when I was looking kind of in Neverland theming. <laughs> and I loved the colors, but it was just a little much to do like as the drapes or as, you know, the chair. So we just kind of pulled the colors from this fabric and this kind of set the theme color wise. And you can kind of see the lantern, the Indian camp, the moon. So anyway, um, that kind of set the color scheme and then we just kind of went from there. So my mother-in-law made me some crib sheets with that fabric and then this little blanket. 
I'm sure we'll use for playtime, but it's a whole map of Neverland. And again, the colors just match perfectly, which was super fun. So this is the mobile, and I ordered this from Etsy as well. And it's really neat. It's just silk kind of leaves, and they hang from wire, and it can it kind of rotates around, you know, if it gets some air flow in here. But it's just really simple but cool. And then I like how it puts the shadows of the leaves on the wall. So that was a cool find. Um, this is just a little plaything from Ikea that we found. And of course the little costume that my mother-in-law made for my other son. And it was perfect and so we just decided to hang it in here. And then this is a Kath Kitston little backpack and they did a Peter Pan release right around the time that I found out I was having a little boy and so it was perfect and I just bought it um, to use really kind of as an older bag you know like when you transition out of the diaper bag where you need like a million things <laughs> this is good for church or you know just taking the car when you're kind of down to just more simple necessities, I would say. So this is, and this may be his little church bag. Um, so we'll see, but that is the entire nursery. And I love how it turned out. It's just what I imagined. I think it's really sweet and different looking, but it's perfect for our little guy. So you may be seeing some more scenes out of this room and I'll be sure to introduce Luke to everybody. <laughs> soon we're adjusting and we're so thankful for him and he's already you know just been such a joy in our family and um, right now he's sleeping of course with me and Kurt in our bedroom um, next to us and his little sleeper in there but he'll transition here soon enough I'm sure so um, we're just thankful for him and I'm glad I got to share this with you if you have any questions, let me know, but I will try my best to link everything below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. So I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.